Hey everyone, if you're having the issue when you're trying to import a package in Python, module not found error, no module named Plotly, or whatever your package is, I'm just using Plotly here, it means that that package is not installed on your computer, so thus you can't call it, you can't import it. A band-aid fix would be go right down here to terminal in your PyCharm window and type pip3 install Plotly or whatever the name of that package is, so maybe pip3 install pandas or whatever. Go ahead and hit enter, and that'll find and install the package using pip3. Now pip3, that's your package manager, okay? Here it's easily accessible because PyCharm knows where that is. You can also do this same exact operation outside of your Python virtual environment, sorry, your PyCharm virtual environment, and you can do this in your command window of your operating system. I'm gonna go ahead and do that now as well. And so this is still running, of course, we'll wait for this to finish. Once Plotly has installed, as you can see here, it gives, you know, it was installing for a while and then it prompted me again to type something. That's when you know the system is finished installing. I can come back up here now, I can run the script and everything runs, no more error messages. The other option is to go bigger picture with your system and head over to the CMD. All right, that's your command prompt. And you can talk to your system now, bigger picture, and run the same command, pip3 install plotly. Okay, this is now working within your Windows OS. And it's going ahead and it's going to download the file to the bigger system. Before you're just in PyCharm, working inside that virtual environment, this is the real way to make sure that you've got the package you need accessible to every time you're running Python in whatever environment or IDE. Let's go ahead and install again, it might take a bit, and then once it prompts you again, you know you're good. If you receive an error when you call pip3, firstly, try doing just pip and do pip install your package. If that doesn't work and you have Python above 3.4, pip's on your computer, but your computer doesn't know how to find that pip executable to run. Okay, to do this, you're gonna to wanna to check your path. I'm gonna open up another CMD because this one's currently still trying to install the other package. And you're gonna type in echo, oof, echo path, okay? And that will show you your path, okay? And these are all your environmental variables, but we're looking for here is something that ends in slash Python and your version number. I'm running 3.9, so I'm looking for slash Python 3.9 slash scripts. Okay, I'm looking through here and I don't know where it is, but here's my Python 3.9 slash scripts. Okay, this is where the pip.exe lives and the pip3.exe lives. Okay, so basically our computer, this, this path has to point to pip in order to be able to run pip commands like the pip install package. Okay, if this line isn't here, you need to get this added, all right? Now you can use a command set, here it is right here, it's set x path, and then you know you can throw this in here, but you need to know what your path is to your pip, okay, or your pip3. So you have to find these on your computer, right? They're just files somewhere in your computer. Mine were dug really deep all the way, you know, as I was in users, then me, app data, local programs, Python, Python 3.9 scripts, okay? It's pretty deep in there but eventually you can find it. Here's my pip3 exe and here's my pip exe that I can use. I can call both of those because I have that path is just right here. See, users, fill up, app data, local, right? It's the same thing as what I have up here. So if I wanted to add this to, again, I would just copy this, throw it in here, make sure I've got my end, let me make this nicer. I have to match this format here, so I'm going to add a end slash and the close brackets, and then I need to do set at, oh, let me get in here and add before, set x, path, and then I believe it starts print like the brackets again, path, semicolon, and then my path. And you can execute that. the end execute that 
and there it'll save it in there and then it's in my if I go echo path you should be able to find that in your path again now if that's not working for you the last thing geez I can't type the last thing you can try okay right so there's my there's my it's in there that's why I know I can then call pip and pip 3 okay the last thing you can try if that's not working for you Oh, by the way, there's our successful install of Plotly. Very good. Um, but the last thing you can try to install and get this on your path if the setx command isn't working is go and hit, go to the run, okay? And you're going to do this. So open sysdm.cpl. This is sysdm. I'm not sure quite what that stands for. Go ahead and open that up. It's your system properties. Go to advanced. Then the environment variables in the bottom right. And you've got a path variable here. And you also have a path variable down here. Go into these. And here you can see I've got my, right? This is the output that we saw before when we were running the commands right in the, in the command window, right? That echo path was just outputting exactly what's in here, right? It was just all of these different items. So this is the one that's important. If it's not here, you can do new and type that path in. So type in, you know, you can copy and paste your path into this to actually put it in here and save it. Or, well, it makes you do that one and go ahead and do this one. Okay, and do edit again, create a new one, and make sure that you end up having your Python version slash scripts in here. Okay, after that, you should be able to run your commands as you want, and life should be good. A little bit confusing. Hope it worked out. Hope you enjoyed the video. Take care.